back again. Um, today we're gonna do pond hopping. I'm actually not going back to that big pond that I really wanted to go back to. Uh, my brother's friend couldn't make it, so we didn't go. Which, I mean, that's no big deal. I understand. Um, but we're actually going to a pond I've pretty much fished my whole life. My best buddy who moved to Kentucky, his parents, they still let me fish it all the time. I fished and duck hunt out there. So we're gonna go out there and uh, I want to see if there's still fish in there because it dried up and we got all that rain and I we don't know if there's any fish in there. But if there is, I'm gonna catch them. I'm throwing three baits. Uh, it's the three baits that have always worked for us out there. I've got a, let's see, a Zoom swimming super fluke junior in white ice color i've got a cinco pack of cinco's the green with purple and black flake in it and then i've got just a i got two frogs i love frogs um best best bait for ponds for big fish anyway i really don't have much I, on lakes i have more luck with the spook i don't know why but I mean, even when all my buddies are smacking them on frogs, I go out there and I'll throw a spook and I'll catch just as many, if not some that are a little bit bigger. But yes, I'll, uh, I'm will i gonna have my redneck chest mount. I'm so small I can actually put my head mount, put the biggest and wear it on my chest, so it's kind of funny, but it works. But yeah, I'll see y'all out there in a minute. Oh, right about. Got him. That's, man, he's a fighter. Woo! He hit that thing. That was a good. Not big, but we'll take him. He hit it, I mean, like right on the right on the shoreline. Just came out of the weeds and just crushed it. There's one. Okay. Alright, today uh, the setup I was using was a um, a six six foot eight inch medium heavy ducket ghost rod. In my opinion, I mean it's only a hundred dollar rod, but you get the quality of a hundred and fifty dollar rod, which is in my opinion, I mean can't beat that especially as a college kid you know can't afford much I have it teamed up on a loose speed spool LFS um, it's a 75 to 1 gear ratio so it's really really fast I've you know I mean right there that's it. it's beautiful I've got it spooled with a 15 pound red label cigar fluorocarbon in my opinion is the best all-around line you can use I mean you can flip with it you could you know but like I said, I, I'm more of a, I buy rods that I can do everything with, like I said, because we're, you know, we're college kids. We can't really afford much. You know, I don't have no sponsors. I mean, we've got our college programs, but still, I mean, they're not the best. So, I mean, we can still, we can only still afford so much. But yeah, um, I was also, it's kind of dirty. I don't know if you can see that or not. I was throwing it, uh, it is a 3 aught extra wide gap. Uh, I believe it's Gamagatsu. Not the straight line or whatever, it's just the regular. There was a bobber stopper on there only because the other day I was uh, flipping and stuff and I didn't feel like taking the bobber stopper off because it's my last one. I was going to try to save that as long as possible. But yeah, that is the setup I used today. Also, this other setup I used today, Costas, love them. I think they're the 580Ps. Um, I want to say they're the Fantail. Not 100% sure. Good glasses. Paid out the wazoo for them, but still love them. Shirt Company, Hanes, gotta love them. You can buy, what, a pack of six for like five bucks at Walmart? Hey, you know, my kind of deal. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, tight lines, Bishop out. Oh, and if you like everything you watch today and you feel like you learned something, hit that like and subscribe button down there in this little corner. I'm looking at it right there. Yeah, that one. <laughs> out.